Hey everybody, Cynthia here, TGIF. Um, it is a great day for crafting for me. There, it is rainy out, kind of cool weather, and um, I'm hoping to get a lot accomplished. I have um, two mini albums I just finished, which I will do a video on. I got some happy mail that I'm going to share with you guys, and I finished some layouts. So... I'm actually hoping to get a lot of crafting done this weekend because hubby is going on a birding um, trip. It's like an all-day thing this weekend. Um, they're going into the Everglades and everything, so I'm going to put on my Christmas movies, get in the spirit, and have some fun. But anyway, um, the first two layouts I'm going to share with you, I used paper from the Bright and Jolly Paper Pad for my collections. And it's a double layout. It's just kind of cutesy. And I don't know if I'll get it both on the screen for you guys to see. So I'm going to pick up my camera quick and hopefully I won't make anybody dizzy. But that's what they look like um, next to each other. And there's seven photo mats all together. And put the camera back down. Close your eyes if you don't want to get dizzy okay so I'll show if you guys hear banging my my cats are playing downstairs but anyway I use like an aqua blue um, cardstock in the back and then I used some of this snowflake paper and it had um, a line of gloves and birds on the top you can see the little birds here and then the photo mats are triple matted with designer paper, white cardstock, and then more paper. And then each one has a border on it. I had these sticker borders I wanted to use up. I punched out the white snowflakes with my Recollection Snowflake Punch. I showed you guys this before, this big one here. I used a coupon and got, I think, 40% off or 50% off last year. And then I used some other um, snowflakes I had in my stash. Now, the glitter was rubbing off of them, and I didn't like that. So I decided to coat them on both sides with my acid-free paper um, Mod Podge. And it's the matte. And it works really, really good. So none of the snowflakes, the glitter's not flaking off of them anymore. And then some of them have bling centers. And then up here, the snow sentiment is one of those foam sentiments I had in my stash. I had this cute little snowman. And then I wrapped around some of these bling mittens. Now those came from, um, I thought I had a bunch of them out for you guys to see. Yes. They came from these. They were rhinestone icons and they were from Michaels. I got these a while ago. I got a bunch of them in like one of those grab bags. And these are the ornament ones and these are the tree ones. And I only had one mitten set. <laughs> so I used that up and kind of wrapped it around the, the sentiment there. It says let it snow. And then down here, I tore up some white cardstock and I inked it up, get my glasses out of the way, with um, the Tumbled Glass Distress Ink. I love that color. And then I tucked in some darker blue um, snowflakes and put this really pretty one on top just kind of layered it in so that was the first one and then the second one same thing I have three little photo mats here and a big one and then I tore up some more paper to create a snow effect on the bottom cardstock inked it all up and then this snowman came from he's dimensional and he came from a sticker pack from the paper studio and there's some more of that clothesline you can see with the mittens and the birds on it. I thought it was really cute. So that's my first double layout and then I decided to go a little vintagey and I used 
my paper pad from K and Company, the Susan Wing it. And I don't know if this one, it's Glad Tidings is the name of it. So I use some papers from this. And oh actually this is my single layout. I'm sorry. This is the layout I created with that. I have some like an off-white cardstock in the background. I layered a designer paper from the collection on top. I handmade these flowers and then I have doilies, photo mats, and then the green photo mat on here I ran through with my um, cuddle bug. Let's see if I have it around that I could show you the the actual die cut or the die I used. I don't have it around, I'm sorry, but it is a Sizzix die. And I used my wax paper. You guys had given me advice to do that with the more intricate dies, and it cut like butter. It worked really well. And then I just layered on top some more of the designer paper, and I see a glue string. And then I have Kane Company birds and the holly leaves. Some of them are glittery. This came from a Kaiser Craft paper that I cut out. I have three little gems in each flower. And some more Kane Company there. And then this is also from Kaiser Craft and the Merry Christmas sentiment. Let me adjust my camera for you. Is also from Kaiser Craft that I cut out. So that's the single layout I made. And then the other double layout that I finished up, I used a paper from the Heidi Swap collection. And I don't know. The name of this one. <laughs> Let me see if it. It says believe. And ch believe. I think that's it. And this one was gifted to me by my friend Misha. Hey Misha. At Scraps and Things 1. So I wanted to. She gave it to me last year for Christmas. I wanted to break it open and use it. So here's how this layout turned out. Let me. Move my camera so you guys can see what they look like together. So get ready for me to move my camera, guys. So that's what they look like side by side. I think they came out kind of cute. There's five photo mats. All the photo mats measure um, four by six. So the first page here. I cut out hand I traced out and cut out a sled one of those hand-drawn sleds my, my hubby made for me and then I used a Christmas greeting sticker from the paper studio I have some doilies and some K and Company snowflakes that have glitter on them around and I have different types of washi tape in the corners here and there hopefully I'm in camera sorry and then the borders on the sides of all the photo mats, I used a stamp, this music note stamp here. Um, and that was from, let me see if I have it. Of course, you know, okay. This was from... This um, Hampton Art stamp set here, I use these music notes and stamp those out. And this is called Holiday Dreams and Wishes, gifted to me by the crafty Irina. Hi, Irene. And that's all up on, up on Pop Dots, the sled. And then this wood veneer um, film strip piece and this camera were gifted to me by Marla H., Hi, Marla. <coughs> Pardon me. So I put a Santa Claus in the film strip wood veneer there. I thought he kind of looked cute. This is a Kaiser Craft um, die cut I cut out. And then this came from K and Company. And then this is a K and Company um, vellum um, bells. And it says Happy Holidays. So there's a journal spot here and December 25th. 
So that's how the first page turned out. And then the second page, I did more of, I layered on and cut out, if you guys can see this white sheet here, that came from, let's see if I can find this sheet for you, right here. So I just cut it out and layered it in the middle here and then on the side here. So you guys can, can see that. And then I drew out and cut out the wooden horse, or the rocking horse, sorry. <laughs> and I glittered up all the stars in it. I don't know if that'll, the camera will pick it up. And then, like I said, just more washi tape, K and Company, um, snowflakes and doilies, and then more of that hand stamping. And all the photo mats are double matted, so... That's it for my layout, guys. I layouts. I will be back to share with you um, two of my accordion minis I had completed, and these, along with the um, mini albums, are in my store, my eBay store. So I'll post a link below underneath the video in the description box if you'd like to check them out. And thank you guys for watching. Take care. Have a great day.